Hello everybody, Master Morton here, and I'm just um, showing my uh, classic Doctor Who collection right now. So I'm just going to um, run through um, each story that I've got um, so far in my collection, and just do a, like a brief description on my opinion on it. Yeah, I have to film it from a weird angle because the lighting <laughs> is quite funny if I stand if I stand right in front of it. So yeah, I have to film it from here. But as you can see, I've got quite a few. It's not it's not a really big collection, but this is what I've got, and I'm just I'm going to run through them all right now. So here we have Frontier in Space. I did a review on this um, maybe about a week ago now, and yeah, so um, re yeah, really good story. Um, it's it's um, it certainly is good um, with the fact that it's got the master in, and it's um, I think it, it certainly wouldn't be as good if it didn't have the master in. Of course, um, I, it's it's not re it doesn't really get going properly until um, the master's first introduced in the story, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, it's really good. Um, really good. Um, yeah, it's got a really it's just a really good story. Yeah. <laughs> And then following on, we have Planet of the Daleks, uh, which has um, some brilliant action in it. It's got the um, the Thals in it, and it follows on from Frontier in Space. Um, yes, uh, also a really good story, one of my favourite John Pertwee stories. And yes, yeah, so that's Planet of the Daleks. Of course, I did a review on that um, when I did the Dalek War um, review. The Green Death, I've already reviewed this, but... Um, just want to say once again, this is a really good story. It's the last story of Joe Grant, and she's got a sad um, departure. Um, and yeah, this is uh, yeah, so it's it's a very good story. Got got some, of course. There's the big giant maggots in it as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yeah, so of course this is special edition, so two disc set. And um, yeah, so yeah, really good story. <laughs> Then the one that I think's okay, but is not brilliant, the Time Warrior introduction of Sarah Jane Smith, the Sontarans, and also the first episode to mention, uh, in which a character, men which um, the Doctor mentions his home planet, Gallifrey. So, um, yeah, this is the um, part of the last season, um, the one where, where the Sontaran um, ship landing in medieval, um, a the medieval times, and... Um, He's taken scientists um, from the present day to her, um, help him fix his ship, but he's sort of hypnotised them. But yeah, the Time Warrior. It's um, yeah, it's quite a good story. So yeah, it's okay. But it's quite good. Uh, next we have um, next one I've got is uh, where is it? Hang on. Ah, here we go. Death to the Diet. And I've not watched this one yet. I've not yet watched this one. I've only got this one quite recently, so but I'll um I'll review it once I've watched it. And this is also the same with uh, uh where is it? Um uh, <laughs> sorry guys. Um Ah, here it is. Uh, I haven't watched Planet of the Spiders yet. I've seen the uh, of course this is John Pertwee's final story, and I've seen his regeneration scene many, many times. Um but yeah, so that's Planet of the Spiders. I'll review that once I've watched it. Coming up next, we've got um, one of my all-time favourite stories. John Pert... No, not John Pertwee. Tom Baker's first story, Robot. Yeah, this is... Um, I reviewed this some time ago, and this is a brilliant story. It's got loads of funny dialogue in it. It's just brilliant. Um, the robot's good. Uh, it's... Um, yeah, it's just really good. Um, uh, it's Tom Baker's first story. Uh, f yeah, <laughs> it's it's got um, it's got some. Um, of course, it's not really hasn't got tons of action in it, but it's it's it is a really um, fun story. A really good four parter. Uh, of course, it's a universal and yeah. So it's one of my. It's probably my favourite Tom Baker story. This. <laughs> Next up, we have the Ark in Space. Yeah, this is a really good one as well. This is where um, the last of the human race um, are on this uh, spaceship that's orbiting Earth, and the Wern, I think that's how you say it, um, are, are the, um, like the insect race that are trying to have the last of the human race as its new source of food or something. But, yeah, so this is a really good story as well. This, this, is, part of a, this is the first episode in a story arc that runs through the first um, Tom Baker season. But, yeah, it's um, really good. Pretty good story. Following on from that, we have the Sontaran experiment, where the Doctor Sarah and Harry have um have come down to Earth and it's inhabitable. And there's um the Sontaran in the rocks. Uh, yeah, it's really good. It's a good two-parter. Um, I, th I can't remember the Sontaran's name, but I think it's Styra. Uh, Styra. I, I, I can't remember how he says his name, but yeah, it's a good two-parter. I really like it. And then there's one of the um, all-time 
best Dalek stories, Genesis of the Daleks. This is the introduction of Davros, and it's really good. Yeah, I, I really like this. It's a good um, six-parter. Definitely, it's, it's definitely one of the best um, Dalek stories. It's one of the best. At least, uh, well, it's one of the best um, classic Dalek stories, anyway. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Yeah, I really like this one. I think only sometimes they have um, a sticker there that says number one Doctor Who story of all time or something. But yeah, so that's Genesis of the Daleks. Coming up next, we have. Talons of Wen Chiang Special Edition. Now, um, this story, I have not seen it in a very long time, but when I first watched it, I didn't think much of it, to be honest. But it is quite a good story. Uh, um, but there isn't. But I haven't seen this in such a long time, so I probably need to rewatch it. I'll, I need to give it. Yeah, I need to. I need to watch it again. Give it another chance because I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, when I when I watched it, I thought it was okay, but. I mean, I wasn't really into Doctor, into classic Doctor Who stories as much as I am now, so I probably like it a lot more now. But yeah, that's Tans of Wenchang Special Edition. Next up, we've got the another one I haven't seen yet, and I'll probably review this once I've done it, once I've watched it. But this is another one of the Sontarans. Uh, came from the Bread for War um, Sontaran collection. Um, but yeah, it's another Tom Baker story. So the Invasion of Time. Then we've got Destiny of the Daleks. A lot of people absolutely hate this story. I think it's all right. It's not the best, but it's um, of course it ha um, have the return of Davros and uh, you know, Romano as the companion. There's the Suicide Daleks and the Movellans. I think that's what how you say them. Movellans. Ah, Movellans. I think it is. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's an okay story. It's not. It's not brilliant. Um, it's it's all right though. It's not terrible. It it could be a lot worse. But that's Destiny of the Daleks. Okay, next we have The Visitation. And I love this story. This is um Peter Davison's story that um Yeah, this is this is really good. I really like this one. This is actually one of the first um classic stories that I watched. And yeah, I, I really like it. It's it's brilliant. It's a four part it's, I think yeah, it's four parts. Um but yeah, it's 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 a really good story. It takes place in um England in what what's what year is it? Um Sixteen sixty six. That's the one. Um, the year of the great, the darkest days of the Great Plague. Yeah. Um, this is the one where um, Tegan was going to be dropped off at Heathrow Airport, but there, like three hundred years early or something. I haven't seen this in a while, but I remember watching it um, quite some time ago and really liking it. So that's the visitation. Okay, and then we have one that. The Caves of Androzani, and I've not watched this one yet. You guys are probably thinking what? But I mean, you would be thinking, how come he hasn't watched it yet? But I mean, yeah, um, because this I I know I've heard this one is a really good story, and I'm, I'm going to watch this one very soon. So I'll probably review that one. Um, uh, I'll probably w watch it and review it very soon. So that's the case of Angelo, it's, and it's a special edition. And I think it's a two disc set as well. So yep, and then we have the two doctors, and I've not watched this one, so I'll watch that one soon. It's Colin Baker, and finally. We have the uh, uh, the TV movie. So yeah, from nineteen ninety six. Uh, Paul McGann is brilliant in this. Uh, it's a twelve, um, and I can't remember his name. Is it Eric Roberts as the master or something? But yeah, but Paul McGann um, is really good. And their companion's good. Um, I can't remember her name. I haven't seen this movie in a while, but. Um, it's, it's very good. I like this. Um, it's a two-disc set, starring Paul McGann as the Doctor. Um, um, yeah, so that's very... So it's, yeah, it is good. I, I, I've watched it. I watched it some time ago, and I remember it being really good. So that's the movie, special edition. And that is the Doctor Who collection. So, um... And I'm just showcasing the ones here that I haven't seen yet. So, um... So these are ones that you, there'll probably be a review on. There'll definitely be reviews on um, Death to the Darks and Planet of the Daleks. Um, and these ones, yeah, there'll probably be a review on them as well. Well, definitely the case of Anjazani. Um And um, Death to the Darks and Planet of the Spiders. And these two, there'll most likely be a review on. But yeah, it depends on how good the story is. But yeah, so... Um, so yeah, that's my um, Doctor Who collection. Well, classic collection so far. And yeah, so... I'll see you in the next video, guys.